Hello everyone. It is 2019 and this year I'm all about developing my create creative side. And I plan on doing that through two ways. Continuing writing and also the Dear Divine advice column, which we're going to go over today. So pretty much I've always been a creative writer. It's just that I never really took it seriously. But now I'm going to start doing that because I think that I'm pretty good. Um, I actually wrote a play in, um, for, for Christmas for a local group here in Augusta. And I submitted it. I did not win the competition. But if you're curious and you want to read it, then message me and I would love to send it. And you can give me your feedback. But I'm going to continue to write my thoughts, write poems. Um, I did enjoy writing the screenplay, so I'll continue to write that. And then, um, and hopefully I can like write a book and get it published. But that's in the future and we'll see. But today we're going to talk about the Dear Divine advice. Um, I've been pitting the fillers out there for a couple of months to see who would bite. And surprise, surprise, two people bit. They um, sent their advice um, request to my email, which is dannybernay2015 at gmail.com. And I'm using... Um, social media to, you know, answer these advice requests. Um, and then you'll be here with me. Um, so we're going to get into it. So the first one, oh, and before I begin, um, I would like to let you know that if you do um, submit an advice request, um, that it will remain anonymous. Of course, I'll know your email address, but I won't disclose it anywhere. And as soon as I um, am done reading it, and using it for this, I will delete it. And so you don't have to worry about that. And please do support me and send in any questions that you may have, okay? So the first one is my boyfriend of six years and I just moved back to our home city where we grew up and we love living closer to family, both his and mine. We live in a nice apartment, small, but we love it. Last night we talked and his mother wants to move in. She's having some serious financial trouble and needs to stay with us to save money. I love his mom and she is welcome, but she wants to bring her, put, her pit bull too. I don't want the pit to be around my small children. The mom is welcome, but not the dog. How do I tell her this without hurting her feelings? First, I would like to say thank you for reaching out. Um, this is a really tough situation. First, I would say check your biases because all pit bulls are not dangerous dogs. But if you don't want the pit bull to be there, that is your prerogative. I would just advise you to be honest with the mom, don't sugarcoat it and just let her know. And also offer to help her find like a kennel or something. Um, I have two dogs and it would be really tough for me to move or go anywhere without you know me being able to bring my dog. So do prepare for her to um, not understand and really be mad at you. But um, another thing that I would definitely suggest is like use Facebook and social media. There are a lot of people out there that love to force the dogs. Maybe you can reach out to them and ask them, you know, for a very specified amount of time, like, hey, can you force to this dog? This is what's going on. People are more than willing to help, so utilize that. Um, and then do offer, like, to um, pay for the dog um, food and care and things like that. That might make it a little bit more easier to find somebody to help you out. Um, and good luck with that. The next um, reader says, Dear Divine, my new girlfriend has a two-year-old son with her ex-husband. He is a great father. I am very impressed with the way they co-parent, but I am left feeling that I should be mindful and try to stay out of the way. I don't want to disrupt what they all have going on. How do I become part of the picture, support their co-parenting, but without getting too involved? You not getting involved, I don't think that's going to be possible. I say that, um, and I don't have children, granted, but I say that children can get and need all the love that they can get. So jump in with both feet, especially if you plan on being there in the long term. And if their co-parent is good, then I don't think that would disrupt anything or cause a problem anywhere. But it will definitely add to the love that is already going on. And to them that are co-parent, that's good for you because a lot of people are not doing it right. Um, so you want to support that as well and keep that kind of thing going and add to it. I don't see why not. That is all for today. Um, this is like my first time. So again, if you have any feedback, you know, it's welcome. Just send it to my email address that I 
um, mention Danny Brene 2015 at gmail.com. And I look forward to hearing um, whatever you have to say. And do send me any questions or advice that you would like me to give you. And I look forward to it. Thank you.